This year, it's a game called Dastan, which is played on a 6x6 six six board. Each player has four normal pieces, a bit like pawns in chess, perhaps. And they can make a variety of different moves according to the move option queue. There are five moves offered in the queue, and players can choose any of the moves in the first three positions. Each move has a different cost. And then they have another piece called the Mirza, which is a bit like the king in chess. And one of the similarities is that if you capture your opponent's Mirza, then the game ends. However, unlike chess, it's the player with the highest score that wins. Let's have a look at an example game. Here we go. Player one, shown in blue, is going to move first. And they've selected a Riot. So that Riot is going to be used to move their piece forward one square. Just one of the different options that you have with a Riot move. We do assume that you've had a look at the pre-release material and are familiar with the ways in which each move can be made. There are several options for each move. So having moved forward, player one gains five points for occupying their own cotler, which is this fortress square shown with a black outline. And they paid one point to move from position one in their queue. You'll notice that the move they made has gone to the back of the queue and all of the other moves have moved up one position in the queue. It's now player two's turn. They've selected a Jazair and they're going to use it to capture this blue piece. Having successfully captured the blue piece, they gain five points for occupying their own cotler, shown here by this black outline, one point for capturing their opponent's piece, but they moved the third move in the option queue, which is more expensive, and they had to pay seven points for doing that, resulting in a net loss of one point. Player one is now going to play a Chao Kidar, and they're going to use it to capture this yellow piece. You can see they've gained five points. So they gain five points for occupying their own cotler. They gain one point for capturing a yellow piece, and they pay one point for playing the move that was in position one in their queue. Player two is now going to do something we've not seen before, which is accept the offer. An offer is available to both players every turn and costs you a number of points according to which move option in your queue you replace with the selected offer. So in this particular case, player two is going to select the Jazair and put it into position three in their queue, which costs them four points. It's eight for the first position, then six, four as you saw, two, and then zero for the final position. So a new offer is now made. Player two is going to play that Jazair move, and they're going to use it to capture this blue piece. So you can see they've moved forward, captured the blue piece, and had a net loss of one, because they had to pay seven to move from the third position. Then they gained one for capturing a piece, and that gives them a net loss of one when you count the five points for occupying their own cotler. Player two is going to use the cuirassier move, which is a bit like a knight move in chess. And they're going to capture this yellow piece. So having captured this yellow piece, they gained five points, five points for occupying their own cotler. They paid one for the move and gained one for the capture. Player two is going to move sideways with a Riot. And they gain four points for that because it's five points for occupying their own Kotler. And then they paid one point for the move in position one. Player one is going to play a Jazair to capture this yellow piece. So they gained two points net five for occupying their own cotler, and then one for 
taking an opponent's piece. But the second move in the queue costs four, giving them a net gain of two. Player two is going to use their Mirza, dangerous, and they're going to capture this blue piece, again, using a cuirassier move. Now, they've made a net loss of three because although they played the second move in their movement option queue, they had to pay four for that, and they gained only one for capturing the piece. But this time, their Kotler is no longer occupied, and they don't get that bonus of five. Player one is going to move sideways two spaces with the Falchdar move, and they gain four points. Player two is going to move back into their own Kotler to start gaining that bonus five points again. And as you can see, they've gained four because they had to pay one for that move. Player one is going to advance with a Riot. Player two is going to advance two spaces by playing a Jazer. And they've noticed that their opponent hasn't got a Riot or Falch Star in their first three moves, and that a Curassier is offered. So perhaps they thought this was safe. They gained four points, paid one for the move, and gained five for having their own Kotler. Player one, however, is going to accept this offer, but by just putting it in fifth place, they pay nothing for that. Now they get another random offer, and this is one of the moves they've been looking for, the Falch Dar. So they're going to accept the Falch Dar and put it in first place, which costs them eight points. Quite expensive. They can now use the Falch Dar to capture the opponent's Mirza and end the game. So capturing the opponent's Mirza is worth five points, five points for not occupying their own Kotler, and they paid one for the move in first position, giving them nine extra points. The game has now ended, scores are compared, and player one is the victor. We do hope that you enjoyed this example game in which we've shown you every different move. We've shown you accepting the offer in different ways. We've shown you capturing pieces and one way of ending the game. All that remains is for me to wish you the best of luck with your summer examinations. Thank you very much for watching.